Well, we're talking about wisdom. We've been talking about it last several weeks here on Tack Room Devotional. I'm Keith Brown. And this week, we're doing the final uh, section of this, and it's uh, be wise, do not give up. We talked about it yesterday. You may get bucked off seven times, but you climb back aboard. Dust yourself off, climb back aboard, and ride again. Uh, you, ain't been, you ain't rode till you've been thrown. That's the, the law of the West. And so, yeah, there's going to be times, if you're a cowboy, there's going to be times you're going to hit the ground, but you don't stay down. If you do, then you're not a cowboy. Well, it's the same thing as Christians. Just because you get knocked down, dust yourself off, and climb back aboard, God to see you through. Amen. So, with our lives, we draw a picture. I, I want to talk to you right now about why we shouldn't give up. So, with our lives, we draw a picture that shows we, uh, how we believe to others. In other words, people look into our lives and they see how we respond to circumstances stances and problems of life. So, we actually draw them a picture. So, what I'd like to do is take the word draw uh, and use it as, as an acronym and point out by using those different letters, why we don't give up. First of all, the first letter is D. Our persistence distinguishes Christ as the one who makes a difference in our life. In other words, people need to see that there's something going on that's different in us than the rest of the world. Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20. It says, for we are bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your bodies and in your spirit, which are God's. See, there's something that should be different about us than about the rest of the world. Our lives should speak of the presence of a Savior, the speak of the presence of our King. John 16, 33 says, I, I tell you these things that in me you shall have peace. In this world you will have tribulation. Be of good cheer. I've overcome the world. Now, what does that mean? He's saying, listen, in me you can find peace even though you may be going through a trial. But don't worry about it. I've already overcome any trial that you've gone through. That's what Jesus is telling us. See, he suffered the same things, the same uh, temptations and everything. He suffered the same thing that we do, uh, did, or we do, even unto death. Amen. We stumble and fall but, and refuse to get up. Uh, if we stumble and fall, refuse to get up, we tell the world, our Christian brothers and sisters, and we tell the Lord himself that we don't think he has overcome the things of the world. But we read in 1 John, and it says, uh, whatever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the uh, victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. That's 1 John chapter 5. So there's the D. Here it is again. Our persistence distinguishes Christ. It distinguishes Christ as the one who makes a difference in our life. The R, because we're talking about draw here, is our persistence reinforces his sufficiency to others. Our lives influence others' lives. We have young Christians who are watching us. The Lord himself watched our actions and reactions to everything that happened in our lives. And so let's look at at uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 2 through 5, it says, You are an epistle written, uh, you are our epistle written in our hearts, known and read to all men. An epistle, that's a letter. You're, you're a letter uh, that's written on the heart of, of, like in this case, on the heart of Paul. For as much as you are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ ministered by us, written not with ink, but by, with the spirit of the living God, not in tablets of stone, but in fleshly tablets of the heart. You see that? And such trust have we through Christ to God, I'm, let me try it again, and tr such trust have we through Christ to God word. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves, we think, uh, to think anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is in God. So you see, our sufficiency is in Christ. But our life is a letter to the rest of the world. Go to the A. Now we're talking about draw, right? Because we're drawing a picture. A, our persistence appropriates the truths we've learned and claim to be effective. In other words, in our lives... Uh, 
when we're persistent, when we get back up again and we don't quit, it speaks of, of um, a, the appropriation of the truths that we believe in. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I, I can have peace in the middle of a storm. I can call on God for wisdom and I'll know that he's going to give him. And all the other scriptures that, that we could go to. But it, it's our persistence uh, that appropriates these, these truths. People will see in our lives, man, there's something different about you. So I'm going to stop right there and we're going to pick it up again tomorrow. But remember, it's draw. First of all, our persistence distinguishes Christ as the one who who makes a difference in our lives. Uh, the letter R is our persistence reinforces his suffic uh, sufficiencies to others. In other words, other people see that he is sufficient in us. And then finally, our persistence appropriates the truth we've learned and claimed to be effective. All right, we'll pick it up again tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.